Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is an episode for Omega Studio News and Talk Show T TV. First, I would like to say breaking news. We have just now discovered that Suzanne Summers has died. I can tell you that um, Suzanne Summers is definitely, definitely a philanthropist. And I tell you that her work is going to continue on in this life. I want to share some, like, oh my God, I, 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 I just really can't believe it. Uh, first of all, Suzanne Summers, happy birthday to her today, October 16th. She would have been 70. Seven years old. She died on October 15th, one day shy before her 77th birthday. And she died in California at her home with her husband by her side. And I can tell you that I'm pretty sure that those who loved her, her fans, her family, you know, her, um, her um, co-workers, everybody, you know, the world is definitely waking up to this sad news. Even though it happened on Sunday, it's, um, it's really sad news. It's, it's, it's her birthday. You know, this is a day that she, you know, would have been celebrating her, her life. And, you know, she is no longer here with us anymore. She doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I can tell you that uh, they're saying that her death, uh, she may have possibly passed from cancer. And we do know that October, the month of October, is the month that is uh, Cancer Awareness Month. And the people are out there getting screenings, not just women, but men as well. Getting screenings and getting the prevention and getting checked to get early detection if it's possible and to get treatment as soon as 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 available soon as soon as possible. Okay, so um, I do know that uh, I did come to her Wikipedia right here, and it's um, still being heavily edited because. Uh, they say that this is uh, someone who had just recently died. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy, guys, because when you look at this, right, uh, you see October 16th, 1946, and then October 15th, 2023, right? So that's like one day before her birthday. So I don't know if you guys even remember this uh, when... When um when her castmate had died, uh, John Ritter, when he died, mind you, and you guys could probably go look this up too, he died on September 11th, just seven days or six days before his birthday on September the 17th. I'm not lying. And here she dies uh, one day before her birthday. And this is John Ritter from Three is Company. Uh, and they both worked on the same set and she um, pretty much, um, you know, worked with him and everything. But I'm going to tell you something. I came to love Suzanne Summers from my movie, Serial Mom. OK, Serial Mom, Suzanne Summers was her. Pl she played herself. You understand? And she did her thing at the end when Serial Mom, who was played by Kathleen Turner, OK, she literally went to court and she was found not guilty on all, all the charges. OK, and Suzanne Summers wanted to. They was cast in a movie and they and Suzanne Summers wanted to play serial mom. And she wanted to know how the heck did this lady just was acquitted. She was acquitted. And she said she knew she was innocent from the door. But come to find out. At the end, when Serial Mom had walked past to go to that juror, juror lady because she wanted to question her on why she was wearing white shoes after Labor Day, um, she wasn't having it. 
she killed her right there, right there in that phone booth. And then as she came back out, the the reporters, all I can say is, Mrs. Sufton, can we get a shot of you and Susie and Selma's together? And then she pulls the real mom, to, she pulls uh, Beverly Sufton over and Suzanne Summers says, pose. And then she says, no, 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 no. Suzanne says, come on, Beverly. And then Beverly says, Suzanne Summers, this is my bad side. And then they discover the death of the jury lady. And then the lady yells. She says, ah. And then everybody looks at Beverly. And then Suzanne turns and looks at uh, Mrs. Sufton. And she, they're like, oh. And it's like, I'm about to play uh, play you in the movie, and now Suzanne realized that this is crazy. She killed somebody, and you can see it all over Beverly Sufton's face looking at Suzanne Summers, and she's like, oh, my goodness. There's another part in uh, Serial Mom, and uh, the guy comes in, and I think is the brother of one of the guys who was killed, Scotty. And he comes into the courtroom. Well, he comes into the court hallway. And then he says, hey, are you Chip something? He says, yeah, man, but you're going to have to speak to my agent. He said, your mom, he killed my brother. And he punches him. Boom. He says, oh, man, that's cool, man. That's cool. He says, come on, man. He says, but, but have you heard? He says, what? He said, did you sign up? He said, for what? TV of book for print. TV. He says, he says, my mom. He says, guess who's playing my mom? He says, who? He says, Suzanne Summers. He says, oh, I wonder who's going to play my brother. I wonder if Jason Priestley's available. He says, maybe, dude. <laughs> and then is the courtroom session where Suzanne Summers makes her appearance in the courtroom. And she's uh, pretty much, if they're in the middle of a, her trial, Beverly Sufton trial, and Suzanne Summers comes in, and everything just stops. Well, not the prosecutor. I'm talking about the judge. I'm talking about the people in the gallery. I'm talking about the defense. Everybody stops to look at Suzanne Summers, and she's just coming through. You know, she's hot. She's um, very attractive. She's turning heads, and she comes in. She's smiling. And she's like waving hands, and it's like, oh my god, it's Suzanne Summers. And everybody's looking, they're like shocked and everything. The prosecutor's trying to present the evidence to show to the judge, to show to the jury people. He says, Judge, he says, Your Honor, may this be presented. He's like, Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He says, Oh, I just love her theories company. <laughs> that is so funny. And then, you know, um, at the end, when the cameras was on Susie S. Summers and then the cameras was on uh, Beverly Sufton, they had this moment together where they was repeating the same verse. And I think, matter of fact, it was, uh, it was her closing statement. It was Beverly Sufton's closing statement. And she was giving her closing statement to the jury people. And Suzanne Summers was out in the hallway being interviewed by the TV, you know, the uh, the paparazzi. And I'm telling you, they they words. If you look at Serial Mom and you look at that, they were all, you know, they they words was like the same. And I all I all I, all I remember is these words is uh, Suzanne Summers. She says, "All I ask is that you find me innocent." Of these terrible untrue charges. You know, she said thank you. And at that time, you know, she was just saying the same words that Beverly Sufton was saying to the jury people. And it's so interesting. It's so funny. Man, I just can't believe Suzanne Summers died. I mean, there's a lot of other remember like remembrance remembering Suzanne Summers from, you know, she made a lot of exercise books, a lot of um, you know, uh TV actress i mean i never really got into uh theory's company and other things but i came over to her wikipedia and i can tell you that she i'm telling you there's a lot here there's a lot you know here suzanne summers on the uss range in 1981 and then here uh, Su uh summers received 
a uh, service award. And then you see her right here. But happy birthday, man. I, I just really, really wish that she would have held out for to celebrate her birthday. You understand? Which would have been a, a, the next day. But here are just some of the, um, you know, photos that are on Wikipedia. Here's a handprint. Here's a signature. And she did this April 15th, 1989. Let's see uh, here. This is uh, when she was at a fashion show, 2011. And then also she was on Dancing with the Stars as well, too. Here's her award. Uh, definitely. She just you know do 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 her thing i think that's all the photos i remember seeing this in a store right but i'm telling you man i just wanted to like give all the um you know give that part that that part of snippet in uh on a uh, serial mom so yes um these are just some of the films uh, let me see Look, she ever had she even had the Suzanne Suzanne Summer show in nineteen ninety four and nineteen ninety five and then yes, Full House. Uh Kathy Griffith, you know, the real housewives of Beverly Hills. She was a guest appearance. Right? She's the sheriff. The six million dollar man. Um it does says here, let me just read some of the information that's here. It says Summers, uh, she um, definitely was diagnosed with skin cancer in, in her 30s. And it says that in April 20, 2000, Summers was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. And she had um, radiation and she had uh, surgery. And then in 2001, uh, she also had another surgery. And then 2020, she fractured her hip and in her house. And then July 2023, 20, her cancer returned. And it's saying that she had died at her home in Palm Springs, California. Just the day before her 77th birthday. So yeah, so happy birthday to Suzanne Summers. And um, I'm, I know a lot of people are gonna miss her. I'm trying to see where Serial Mom at on here, but I don't really see it. Oh. I'm trying to see Serial Mom, Serial Mom. Uh, I think it was like, Somewhere like around here, but this is um television. But Serial Mom was a movie, so I don't really. Oh, there we go, right here, Serial Mom. Yo, you guys gotta get, you guys gotta watch this movie, man. You you have to watch this movie. Serial Mom, she, she definitely, definitely. Yo, I promise you, Suzanne Summers making her appearance in that movie was amazing. See, it says as herself, Suzanne Summers as herself. Uh, she literally wanted to play. <laughs> she literally wanted to play Beverly Sufton, but yeah, she she. Let's see. Uh, all the people she killed. She killed the teacher, right? She killed him with a uh, speeder car. She killed Scotty, right? With an air sword can and cutting using a knife to cut um the stage rope and it dropped this thing down on him and i think she killed him because he was or haven't or don't wear his seatbelt. and uh let's see she killed the teacher because he had said bad things about her son right in school and plus she don't like nobody chewing gum and he had gum when he was in her eye when, when she ran him over right she killed she killed the jury lady because she was wearing white shoes after labor day right 
She killed Mrs. Sterner, right? Because her husband didn't brush his teeth and he had cavities and he always was calling on her husband who was played by Sam Wood, Waters, Waterston, who was played by Sam, he played on Law and Order, right? That's Eugene, he was the dentist. And he called her up and said, Eugene something, this guy tooth is bothering me. He picks up the phone, said, he died by Monday. I mean, the tooth is infection, infected. All right, I have in my office. So she, she killed her. Her because I don't know. I think I do know because she snuck up in the house and he was eating all this food and she was saying, Now you know what the doctor said. Like, what do you know? He said it hardly paid the bill. Talking about the dentist. So she overheard that and uh he was still downstairs and she was upstairs. And she was getting dressed and she says, honey, come on up before the kids get home. He says, I'm still eating. And she's going in. And she's about to prepare herself to get uh, unwind for the night. And she goes in her closet and she's moving the stuff over one side, left over to the other. And that's actually this. Um, You see this uh, photo right here? This is when she was in the closet. And this is the scissors, the same scissors that Mrs. Ackerman had gave her uh, in her sewing kit. So she pretty much was in the closet. This is the photo right here. And she said, honey, got rats or something. Like, no, nah, pay the exterminator because the, the shoe box was moving. And then next thing you know, she moved her curtain over. See this face right here? This is the same face that appeared. And boom, she stabbed her in the stomach with these scissors. Ugh! She's like, oh, and backed away, and he burped. He came upstairs, and uh, next thing you know, he was running for his life. She killed him with the air condition falling on him outside. So those are two, Ralph and Betty Sterner, they was killed, okay? Um, yeah, man, so, uh, yeah, jo Jones River, she played herself because uh, she was on television, the Jones River Show, and Serial Mom, she was literally sneaking in the window of, um, of the lady she was harassing. So when she was caught, she said, oh, so it's just Beverly. Come on in, Beverly. And then she comes in, and Jones is on a, um, on a TV, and she's interviewing women, and she's saying, Women who love men humiliate, who humiliates. We'll be back. She says, turn that off. Violence is everywhere. And that's when she found, she seen her in the window. She says, oh, it's just Beverly. Come on in, Beverly. And she comes in and she says, oh, do you want a beer? She says, no, I'll take a cup of coffee. And she sits down. She says, mm. And this is not fair. She says, are those pussy willows? She says, they're dry ones. Aren't they pretty? What did you just say? Pussy Willow's daddy. She says, oh, and then she takes up the Fabergé egg and she breaks it. She says, oh, yeah. So I'm telling you, this movie is so interesting. It's so, it's so interesting because I just cannot believe that Suzanne Summers was in this movie and she died. And her birthday is literally today. So again, um, Happy birthday to Suzanne Summers on this day. Uh, one day uh, she died uh, fat, battling cancer, and I want to just represent this video uh, to her in honor of her memory. So, again, I'm Kareem Clemens, and I want to say for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Again, this is a video for Omega Studio News and Talk Show T and YouTube. Okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening and watching. Take care. Bye-bye.